It's the day before Thanksgiving, Wednesday, November 26th, I think, in the U.S. And uh, I wanted to show you this cool thing that I bought today. Uh, there is going to be a Black Friday sale on these starting tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day at 6 p.m., which is like exactly dinner time for most of us, right? Most of us will be eating at 6 p.m. tomorrow. But Walmart tomorrow will be selling this awesomely cool little cartoon ukulele. Um, as near as I could tell at my store, they come in Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse, although the ad shows three other cartoon characters. I don't know. Um, but they're on sale tomorrow through Sunday, the whole Thanksgiving weekend for 10 bucks. Now, of course, they might all sell out Thanksgiving night in all the local stores. Who knows? So I bought them today. I bought actually two of them, two identical ones, two of the same exact ukulele. I bought two because 10 bucks. So today they were 20 bucks because that's the regular price. Um, but I was told that I can go back. My store is very close, so it's easy to do. I'm going to go back early Saturday or Sunday morning when I'm told it will be quiet even though because you know now black friday is not just a day it's not just that crazy insane day when the stores are all crowded it's a whole freaking four-day weekend now so uh you know there are quiet times during the weekend apparently so i'll go back if it's not too crazy if it's crazy i only paid 20 bucks they're still in expensive use but um if i can get them for 10 i'll get them for 10 so i'm gonna go back saturday or sunday morning get my discount that's what I was told and or return them you know but I, I think they're cool I think I'm probably gonna keep them I mean 10 bucks and they they're playable ukuleles um, I can't really you know I'm not gonna do a full review yet because I just got them this morning so the uh, brand new strings of course have not completely settled yet they're not holding tune you know from the beginning of tuning them to the end of tuning them quite yet so uh, I'll just play a little so you get a sense of what they sound like, but I'll uh, do a more full review in there. I just tuned that. It's not quite there anymore already. <laughs> but uh, that's what it sounds like. I'll play a little bit. I just whacked my finger in it. All right, my, I shouldn't play D chord. The D chord, I, can't, I haven't learned how to finger that on here yet. These strings are actually quite soft. They're surprisingly soft. Usually when I have picked up uh, other people's um, cheap uh, beginner ukuleles, they usually have really kind of hard, thick, off-white nylon strings that are usually very hard to play. And I usually recommend people get uh, restring them right away with Martin M600 fluorocarbons because those will transform cheap beginner ukulele into a much better ukulele really fast uh, but these strings are there it already has clear strings which I've never seen on a beginner uke they seem they're a little thicker than the fluorocarbons but they seem a little thinner than the standard nylons and they're very soft now the scale length of this uke is 12 and a half inches my soprano flea which is the thing that I have been playing mostly in the last year has a 14 inch scale length. It's a whole lot bigger instrument <laughs> than this one, right? It's much bigger. Um, it's also a lot thicker. So this is a very thin and small uke. So 12, it's 12 and this is 14 inch scale length. This is a 12 and a half inch scale length. So uh, 12 to 14, I believe is uh, soprano size. Maybe it's 13 to 15. Maybe this is even smaller than standard soprano. So it's a tiny little uke. And it's very lightweight. It's made of plastic. It's pretty solid plastic. I'll show you the box. So the box, oh yeah, the other thing you should know is that it's not called a ukulele. It is called a guitar. It's not though, it's clearly a uke. And uh, so they come in uh, Mickey and Minnie and possibly other Disney characters. In the ad, it is called the Walmart Black Friday ad. It's called Disney Character Guitar. On the box, it just says guitar. Um, it just says guitar. <laughs> That's all it says. It's made by First Act, and they have Disney characters, and they are sold by Walmart. They may be sold other places, and I know somebody got one online today for 16 bucks plus shipping, I think. Um, and... Uh, 
you know, regular price at Walmart, 20 bucks. This weekend, 10 bucks. So anyway, you know, I uh, made the mistake of <laughs> reading the Black Friday, some of the Black Friday ad circulars, which I don't usually do. I do not go shopping on Black Friday. But I looked and there was this thing that looked an awful lot like a ukulele, even though it said guitar or so. And so this is my first um, real foray into UAS, ukulele acquisition Sy syndrome. And, uh, you know, I've been really happy with my flea for the last year, but most recently, a fellow seasonista participant in the seasons of the ukulele has been obsessively playing this really cute, bright red, it looks orange in the video, but bright red cartoon ukulele with a, a, a UK cartoon character, Bino. I don't know that character. But it's adorable, and hers sounds great, and she loves it, so she's playing it obsessively all the time, making all these videos with it. It's really cute. So I had a little, you know, cartoon uke envy. I wanted a cartoon uke. I was kind of like, I had that on my wish list. And uh, then this ad showed up, 10 bucks. I thought, that might be my cartoon uke. The worst thing that could happen is it sucks, and I return it. So I went and... Uh, I bought two. I might go buy more. I don't know. <laughs> Ten bucks. Because, you know, I could keep one in the car. I could take one camping. I could, you know, I could lose one and I'll still have one. I mean, ten bucks. So, <laughs> um, they do seem pretty solid and indestructible. It's very thick plastic. It's actually thicker plastic than on the on the flea, which is also has a plastic body. Now, the flea is a, this is not a very loud uke. It's kind of quiet. It might be that a string change will impact that, but it's kind of quiet and I'll play you the flea so you'll see how much louder that is. The flea has this nice big fat resonant cavity and it's very loud. Much louder. That's what that sounds like. These are Fremont black line fluorocarbon strings. Very nice. like them a lot. Um, so that's a lot louder and it's not nearly loud enough in a loud guitar jam so I want a banjo uke too that's my other wish list item but cartoon uke was on my wish list and now I have two identical ones I could have gotten Mickey I might go back and get Mickey but I want it you know Minnie so look she's hot pink she's wearing sunglasses she's looking very cool and assured of herself yeah and it says look at this it says happy to be me I think the Mickey one says something like rock on or something. That's pretty cool too. But how could you not love that? And it has little hearts all over it. This is totally a girl cartoon uke. I'm a girl. Um, so, you know, there you go. So, um, yeah, I was just going to show you. I'm going to do a more complete review once the strings settle and hopefully it sounds a little better. Um, but look at the tuners. They're little... Their little mini mouse cartoon bows. How cute is that? And they are uh, geared tuners on the back. They seem to work pretty well. I'm, I'm, I think I think I'm pleased with those. I don't know. I haven't had geared tuners before. It's interesting. So um, yeah, I don't know what else I want to say about about this uke today. But I'm pretty excited for the possibility that these might work out well. And, uh, you know, when I have two, the idea when I bought two, quite honestly, I thought one for me, one to give away because I'm hosting an upcoming season of the ukulele very soon, only five weeks from now, four, four weeks, four and a half weeks, and um, less than four and a half weeks. And uh, so I was thinking, you know, it'd be nice to have a ukulele as a prize for that, right? Giveaway prize. So maybe, but now I want to like, keep them both and go get more. I don't know. I never had desire for another uke before. Now all of a sudden I want to like go collect all the characters and stuff. So, <laughs> and have one everywhere. But I also have wanted to have a car, a, a car, have a uke that I could take in the car with me. Um, and uh, you know, I do, yeah, like, I do take the flea with me a lot, but I usually, cause I want to protect it. It's in its gig bag slung over the back of my seat so that nothing can happen to it, hopefully. Uh, but this is one I could just leave lying around on the seat and stuff and just, you know, when I'm at a traffic light and wait for stuff to happen, I can just pick it up and play. So I'm excited for that. Um, anyway, 
there it is. That is the uh, the Walmart ten dollar special for the upcoming four day weekend. Um, Disney character guitar, I believe it's called. Even though clearly it's not a guitar. And actually, first I saw that first act has in a, the first act is the company that makes these. In addition to these, they also do sell a guitar in uh, Walmart, and uh, it was right under the Ukes, and that was about forty bucks, I think. It was an actual guitar. They're small. They're designed for kids. It looks like it's also plastic. I didn't try them or take them out. I didn't take them out of the box. These I took out of the box. Then an employee came along and said, store policy, you can't do that. But I had already done it because, you know, I wanted to try them before I bought them. Make sure I was getting one that, you know, because some of them might be more playable than others. I didn't want to buy the whole lot and tune them all up and return, you know, most of them. So <laughs> I didn't want to make sure I got a decent one. So I did tune them up and play them in the store. and. Uh, they are kind of quiet, so nobody noticed until she did. But anyway, that's the deal. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'll tell you more. <laughs> I'll tell you more and show you more when it's playable. The other thing is, you know, I find it hard to hold. Uh, some of you are perfectly happy playing ukuleles without a strap. I am not. I find, you know, <laughs> I can't play a lot, of, a lot of the more complicated chords when I'm also trying to support the neck and the body. So I like to have a strap that supports it fully. And uh, so once I decide I'm keeping them, I'll rig something up. There's nothing to attach anything to. On my flea, I actually drilled a hole. I drilled it here because the flea has a flat bottom. And this uke, I'd probably drill it here if I were to do that. But I'm not sure, you know, it's uh, this is a thicker plastic. I'm not sure that I could do that without breaking it. It's also a more solid kind of less drillable plastic, more crackable, I think. So I'd be afraid to do that. So I'll probably just, um, I might just stick some sticky Velcro thing on there or something, some sticky thing that I can attach something to. I don't know. I'm not sure. If you have ideas, let me know. But it's going to need some kind of a strap so that I can actually play it and do all the things that I do in my other uke. But in the meantime, I'll show you what it does the best I can once it sounds decent enough to do that, which it does not yet because of the tuning issue. Anyway, how cute is that? Go get one, 10 bucks. And you have until Sunday to get them in the store. And they did tell me Saturday morning and Sunday morning before 10, they said don't, you know, around 10 a.m. it will get really busy. But they open at seven, all the local Walmarts here, there's lots of them. They all open at 7 a.m. So if you can get up early and just go out before the crowds, I don't know if they'll still be around by Saturday morning or Sunday morning. That's the thing. If they all get snapped up Thursday night by crazy people who are willing to leave their Thanksgiving dinner and go to Walmart, not me. That's why I went today. Um, you know, but maybe there won't be any by Saturday and Sunday. Then you won't get them at that price. But, um, but they're 20 bucks there at the store and somebody got them online for less so more than 10 less than 20 so there you have it seems cool i have no idea if it's any good yet we'll find out more will be revealed thanks for watching